Hi students, this is Professor Schimmel and Renee, and we'd like to show you how to make a gram stain. All right, you're going to begin with uh, making an air-dried, heat-fixed smear, and I've discussed how to do that in a, a, in a previous video. So anyways, you might review that video in your lab manual. Now, Renee is doing this stain over what we call a staining uh, bench or staining rack. You'll do this over the um, staining rack in your sink. Uh, this is just a nice portable um, uh, contraption for uh, making making stains. All right, now here are the stains and reagents that we use for gram staining. From left to right, uh, first of all, we use Graham's Crystal Violet, and then we will be using Graham's Iodine. 95% alcohol. Now make sure you don't make the mistake of picking the 70% alcohol up that's always on your bench top. You've got to use the 95% alcohol for decolorizing or it is not going to work. And then finally, gram safranin is our counter stain. All right, now um, after making your air dried heat fix smear, we're going to cover the, the slide, the smear, with Graham's Crystal Violet and we're going to leave it on there for a minute. Um, after a minute, we're going to go ahead and rinse the Graham's Crystal Violet off, just gently with water. Uh, next, we will apply Graham's Iodine. I'm going to cover the slide with the Graham's Iodine, and the Iodine is acting as a mordant, which is a substance that's going to intensify the bond between the Crystal Violet and the cell wall. Uh, we're going to give that a rinse. And the next step is decolorizing. By the way, the iodine stays on for about a minute, and we're just kind of fast forwarding through this, uh, but you'll watch the clock as you're doing it. All right, now decolorization uh, is going to depend upon how thick or how thin your smear was, but if your smear is the proper um, thickness, it should take two to three seconds. And then we're going to stop the decolorization process with another water rinse. Put the slide back down on the rack, Finally, cover it with the gram safranin and leave it on there for a minute. Give it one last rinse with water and you are ready to blot it dry and view it. All right, guys, thanks for watching.